So what is the big deal about wedding veils? Why do they matter? Why do brides even wear them? Well, I'm here to answer all of your questions. My name is Alicia and I am a wedding veil designer. So let's take it back to the beginning. Well, most scholars agree that the wedding veil tradition dates all the way back to Roman times. So ancient Roman times when brides used to wrap themselves up in long pieces of fabric in wedding veils basically and these wedding veils served three purposes the first one was that it would actually hide the bride from the groom for arranged marriages so brides who maybe were not the most physically attractive would hide themselves from the groom and that would remain a secret until the wedding night <laughs> And um, the second reason was that it was a symbol of pu her purity and innocence. And the third reason was there was the belief that the veil would protect the bride from evil spirits that would try to inflict harm on her to inflict harm on her marriage. So that's some interesting backstory. It was re-revived, the wedding veil was re-revived by Queen Victoria. She was the first monarch to officially wear a wedding veil. And it's actually pretty exciting. She was so into her wedding veil that she declared to everyone that she wanted to be buried in it. I'm not sure if that actually happened. Hopefully her wishes were honored, but let's just say that she strongly adored her wedding veil. These days, however, wedding veils are more of a fashion statement. They are that first and foremost. They are for a bride to express her unique individuality in the same way that her wedding dress expresses her personality and her style. So first and foremost, wedding veils these days in modern times are a fashion statement. However, the other thing that they are in modern times is they are an heirloom. Brides are the, or the veils are the part of the wedding ensemble that brides typically will preserve and pass down for generations to come in the same way that they do with their wedding dress. So it's an heirloom that the bride plans to pass on for her future daughters, maybe her future daughter-in-laws, and it's the start of her family legacy, a physical representation of that. The last thing that wedding veils represent these days is more of a commitment that the bride is making to the groom and the groom to the bride. It's a symbol of the fact that they are going to put one another first for the rest of their life. It is a, a symbol of their love and commitment. It's almost like the bride is wrapping herself up in, in something pretty as a nice present to the groom. So I'm sure you've always thought of wedding veils that way, you being the the gift to the groom. In conclusion, I would say that even if you're not totally sold on a wedding veil, at least try a few on. Your wedding day will be the only time in your life when you can wear one. I don't want you to look back on your wedding day 20, 30 years from now and wonder why you didn't at least try one on. Try one on, what's the harm? I found that the moment when the bride puts on the veil typically is the moment when it becomes very real to her. You know, she can have a beautiful dress on and and feel stunning, but the moment she puts on the wedding veil, that's when she starts to cry, that's when her mom starts to cry, that's when the realization of what it is she's doing becomes all that more vivid. So at least try on a wedding veil. And if you do decide, I will, I will say I'm admittedly biased in favor of wedding veils because I designed wedding veils, but if you, design, if you decide that a veil is not for you, there are some great alternatives. The first one that you're seeing a lot is something called a bridal cape, a wedding cape. They have different styles of these. Some of them tie at the neck and still have that long dramatic train. Others will drape in the back. They're really um, just showstoppers. The other option is to do wings, which is a variation on the cape. It's just pieces of additional fabric that you're sewing or attaching to your dress and that drape down the back. 
You can also choose a lovely headpiece, whether it's a tiara, a flower crown, some sort of statement hair accessory. If you are on the fence and you just don't know if you want to go with a wedding veil, I would recommend taking a look at this free style guide that I will post below and you can click on the link to grab it. It has a few tips and tricks for styling to see if wedding veil is right for you. And also make sure to grab your free samples. If you want to choose the perfect wedding veil for you, the first step literally only takes you 30 seconds. Make sure to click on the link below to find out the first step to choosing the perfect wedding veil for you. Thank you so much, guys.